Well, they've been larger than life for more than 25 years, and the Backstreet Boys proved they still got it when they performed at the CHI Health Center last weekend. But now the Backstreet Boys are all grown up with their own kids, and one of the boys is putting together a musical for kids and parents to enjoy. It's called Howie D back in the day, and it will premiere here in Omaha. The music is a semi-biographical biographical account of Backstreet Boy Howie DeRoe's middle school years. Earlier this week, I got the chance to chat with Howie about how he got started on this new project, and I even learned a few new moves. Uh, 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 and we'll just do that part? Is that yeah. about it? Okay. Yeah. So when my kids were young, we would do, I would try to find some of Backstreet songs and change the words up to help them do their daily chores or, or simple things as taking a shower and washing their body. So we actually had a song, uh, we, we translated uh, Backstreet's Back, Everybody Rock Your Body, and instead to Everybody Wash Your Body. It'd be like, Everybody wash your body, everybody wash your body right, wash your body again tonight. Oh my gosh, I can die happy now, thank you. <laughs> Your kids are starting to get to that age. Do you do you embarrass your kids at all, or is dad still cool? I'm still cool. You still um, are. Are you sure? I haven't I haven't gotten to a point where they were like jumping out of the car, like asking me to like you know the the, the carpool line like yeah. a, a couple of blocks before I get to school. Um, so I'm still cool in that aspect. My oldest one, I, I think I got about a year left on that one before it's going to be probably not so cool. Dad would be kissing me in public. What made you decide to focus towards a, a younger group? It was it all started about five years ago when uh, my oldest son, who's 10 now, uh, he was five, James, um, I was trying to connect with him on the music. And then one day I looked out in our audience of, at a Backstreet Boys concert, and I noticed a lot of these teenagers that have grown up just like all of us, and now bringing their kids to the concerts, I was like, why not make more music for families out there now, besides Backstreet Boys? And so that's where it started, actually. Normally musicals, they come up with a story and then you go into song. Well, we had all the songs first and we we're trying to make the storyline fit in between all that. What do you hope people get out of your show? What do, what do you want people to take away if there's one thing they could take away from it? Um, you know what, I think it is for kids to be able to feel comfortable in their skin. Um, you know, it's always, especially at a young age, you're, you know, a lot of kids are trying to find the me I'm meant to be, which is uh, the theme song of the, uh, the musical. And I think it's for kids to be able to, to know that it's okay with what they're going through in life and just trying to find themselves. If you could say one thing to young Howie, what would it be? If I could say one thing to young Howie, it probably would have been to stop worrying at such a young age. Stop stressing so much. Or wash your body right. <laughs> High five, good job, good job. I still obviously need a little more practice before I go on tour with the Backstreet Boys. Howie says they're currently casting for the musical. Opening night is January 31st and you can buy tickets through the Rose Theater and you can also check out the entire interview with Howie D on our Facebook page.